because my parents never were able to ex afford me expensive stuff. I had to work for my expensive stuff. Everything that I you know, own, I worked for. You know what I bought my nephew for his birthday? A set of uh, 42 coloring, uh, not 42, 60, I think it was 48 or 60 something coloring pens. I don't remember. I think it was 48 coloring mm -hmm. pencils. Because when I was a young kid, when we didn't have a PC or anything like that, I would just get a paper and draw stuff, you know. And we had a lot of coloring pencils, like a box full of them. All different shades of colors, from blue to blue-green to turquoise to... Basically anything. So, there was a lot of colors but from different sets and everything so I bought him that because when I would frequently ask my sister if he was actually using coloring stuff mm -hmm. and he, she said like he is, he is but as lately as I see he has a tablet but it's actually uh, starting to bore him a little which is a good thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my during my so-called recovery week, uh, my sister came over with my nephew and niece, and the first thing they asked me was if they were allowed to go behind my computer. I said, "No, you're not." And then they asked my sister, "Like, are we allowed to go behind the computer?" And she said, "Well, he's in charge of this place. Ask him." And I said, "No, you're not." And then they were bored. So I brought out my Legos. I'm like, I've got a massive case of Legos right here. If you want to play so badly with something, go play with this. Yeah, we don't want to. That's boring. I said, then I've got nothing to offer. And then they were just like, <laughs> okay. Then we'll play with Legos. Because I'm a boring uncle. <laughs> I'm like. I'm a very strict and evil uncle who he loves very much. Yeah. The strange. The kind of strange but ultimately very sad thing about my brother in law. Yeah. He has three brothers. And they're all married or they have a girlfriend. But yet, to my nephew and niece, I am the only uncle that they have. Technically, yeah. technically they have uh, four uncles. But to them, I am the only uncle that they have. Yeah. And I'm just like... How fucked up must their family be that despite the fact that these kids know they have more uncles, they still consider me to be the only one. It kind of hurts in, in, in one way or another. It makes me sad because here I see my family being as close as we are and I see his family, as my brother-in-law's family, in ruins and thus his children believing that they only have one uncle and at some point this as, as this goes on my nephew was like asked me like when are you getting a wife because <laughs> I want an aunt and like you've got three aunts that, no you're the only uncle that I have. And I was just like... Could you like go to the other room? I need to talk to your mother for a second. 
And I was like, sister, what on earth are you trying to teach him? Am I the only <laughs> uncle? He said, and she said like, yes, you're the only uncle in regards of the one that matters to him. I'm like, he's got three other uncles. Yeah, but you're the only one that matters to him. So, I'm suddenly stuck with a massive burden of being the only uncle. I know I try to be the best uncle I can be, but being the only one that actually counts? Holy shit. Yeah. My problem is, well, I do have a brother, which he is... Well, he's a type of a guy which usually is a... He's mostly selfish, but not in, in not to me actually. But he likes his commodity and... So, well, to my nephew, I'm the better uncle. Because, well, I'm mostly strict, I'm very strict to him, because I do want him to listen to me, if there's anything, but I'm the closest pers uh, person to his age, actually. Mm -hmm. So, that's, and uh, he's not used to being around me, because they live far away, and when he stays with me he usually listens to everything i have to say because he doesn't see me that often so he actually does not know me that well mm -hmm. he does love me he loves to see me every time mm -hmm. he's always happy to see me but the one of the things that's basically a plus he doesn't see me that often so he has to listen to what I actually have to say. Uh -huh. He's like a he's like a little screwball. He, he doesn't like. He doesn't want to listen to people. Yeah. Well, he that's, actually that's probably the what? age. But the thing is that my brother-in-law and his entire family kind of. I I don't want to say they see each other as enemies, but compared to how my family sees each other. You can say that my brother-in-law and his family see each other as enemies. It's like, yeah. that's torn apart. And I'm just like, how exactly did you manage to get that far away from each other? Like, respect is one thing, but come on. Yeah, well I can kind of understand it, because, well, my family is... Well, we are not actually that um, torn apart from each other. We just kind of moved away from each other because uh, living under the same roof for years really took its toll on all of us. Because it really, my parents are divorced, but that didn't affect me at all. They're when they divorced each other, that it was something I didn't care about. Which parents divorced? Yeah, they are divorced. They still live together, but they they are divorced actually. I don't think you ever told they, me that. I didn't. No. Usually, that's a info a lot of people know about me. My parents divorced. I was still in high school, like years ago. So, <laughs> she actually told me she was gonna divor divorce uh, my father, so I was like, okay, <laughs> do what you want, I don't give a damn. And uh, that really uh, didn't have no effect on me mentally, I didn't have any issues with it, but the it was actually kind of better when they divorced each other because uh, they weren't in the way of each other anymore so I see it all all in all I see it as a good thing but uh, when my sister she was the first to move out 
with a guy that was an idiot. Mm -hmm. uh, then my nep uh, nephew came along and actually this is when things actually started going downhill. Uh, little by little it started going downhill and started going downhill pretty fast. So my mom used to say, look, we are a good family. There are families that are doing a lot worse than us. When you when I look at it at a perspective, like everything in general, mm -hmm. mostly we do get along. Uh, but we actually need space from each other. You know, we're so clogged up in one living space for a long time, so we just need a to separate everybody. Mm -hmm. So I do have a bit of resentment towards my parents and their overall parenting and when my nephew was born well my sister was supposed to be in charge and actually growing uh, my nephew in a house with my parents i thought it would be a good idea but something was some in me was screaming this is not going to end well and it did not actually caused a lot more a lot more issues a lot more problems so this is the actually the time I decided well I'm gonna move away or I may eventually end up killing myself because my stress levels were probably the highest they they have ever been in my life and when usually people talk about stress depression and people actually don't know me that well to know where have have i been mentally and physically with everything mm -hmm. so i can kind of understand he's, he, he has resentment over that kind of issue because but usually that kind of resentment actually if you're gonna be a better man then you should eventually learn to swallow it actually just there are, there are issues there are problems but Sometimes just hold on and persevere and maybe the, everything will work out for the best. Mm -hmm. So that was my tactic and it was, uh, it proved me a lot of great things happened after that. Yeah, well, with me, uh, well, I, I guess... Hey, Paki. Hey, Paki. Norway! Holy shit. Norie. Nice. Go listen to some Nor Norwegian black metal. Metal? Yeah, metal. Metal? Are you British? Mike? I actually pronounce metal because the pronunciation of the T sounds strange. Mm -hmm. I do pronounce metal sometimes, like... Demo Burger, like best stand. burger. Ah. No, I, I kind of prefer the old Demo Burger before the uh, keyword player and the, the bass is left. Yeah. Uh. It's actually pronounced uh, kind of... Uh, Demo Burger. Dimmy were here, like uh, something like that. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna yeah. start building wells because I have 350 stone. 
I'm going to build the wells. I'm going to build the chapel. Oh, look at the graveyard. Graveyard is almost full, so I think I'm also going to get cracking on this graveyard while I'm at it. Yeah, new uh, new albums are shy. That one's sorted. That one. Now I have so much stone. I could actually go to stone house, but I need steel for that as well. Becky, if you know only the only metal band from Norway is Dimmer Borger, I'm gonna officially hate you. Name at least 10 bands from Norway. 10? 10 bands from Norway. I don't think I can. Okay, let's start. Uh, Darkstone, Satyricon, Take, mm -hmm. Throne of Ahas, Ancient, uh, Covenant, Immortal. Immortal, yeah, I know that one. Uh, Gorgoro. Wasn't, uh, what's their face, what's their name? Windir. And... Enslavement of Beauty, 10 bands. Dang. I wasn't, um... Ah, hang it, what's, what's his name? Not, not Marduk, but... Marduk Burzum. is from Sweden. Burzum, yeah. Burzum and thus also Mayhem. Burzum, yeah, Mayhem, one of the first... Uh, Mayhem is the... Belongs to old school black metal with the battery and battery and uh, Hellhammer. Mm -hmm. That's like the first wave of black metal. What do you and what do you mean? Tormentor from Hungary. Maki, what do you mean? You don't even remember sh remember your mother's tongue. Things are actually going so much better. I feel that we are no. slowly, slowly catching up with the demand of of tools. Yay, tools. Well, and all of the bands I actually uh, named are black metal bands. So, for Paki, right here, um, this is the area that I started out with. We had a storage barn and a uh, stockpile over here. I removed the stockpile and replaced that over here with a woodcutter. The market is basically my center, my city center. I've got a couple, I've got a 15 houses over here. A chapel that's getting, gonna get built eventually. Graveyard that is almost full. Some houses here. We've got our uh, city hall. We've got our blacksmith, our tailor, our uh, hospital, our tavern, not a storage barn. We've got palm orchids, we've got beans, and we have pumpkins as the only two... Plum uh, orchids, not orchids. orchids. Uh, beans and pumpkins as the only two crops that we have. Because I refuse to build a trading post. I also refuse to build a school. I will eventually build one, but not yet. This is my this, trading post. This is my main crop field. Ow. 
where I've replaced some crops with uh, orchards so that my uh, tavern can keep on producing. Last season we had. Isn't it actually pronounced orchard? Orchards. I don't know. Uh, I'm also building wells at the moment. Because I have a lot of them to build. This is another area with forestry, woodcutter, hunter, gatherer, and herbalist. I've got uh, one over here, got one over here. This is a uh, mine and quarry with a blacksmith, a woodcutter, and a tailor. I've got another forestry uh, area over here. And now I'm currently building this area up. How long will I be going? Uh, well, until this bottle is empty, I'm about here. So I guess one more glass after this one's empty. Because I started at just over 8 o'clock in the evening. So I'm already streaming for 6 hours straight. A devil! Well, we're a little low on tools, but in in regards of that, everything else is going fine this run. Hey, devil. Welcome back. We've got crops over here, forestry here, 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 and here. We've got the second town getting slowly built up over there. This is our main town. And... What?! Tornado! We have a tornado somewhere. Shit. Ah, here. And it was going so well. I had a tornado. Well, I don't think it destroyed that much. It barely destroyed anything. Mm -hmm. Bunch of wooden horses, fishing dock. That's it. That's it. Pretty much. And it killed a couple of people. But um, luckily I had a lot of um, nomads come in. Like 17, 25 and 14 something? Uh, it was 26 and 12, I think. How big is that bottle you have? It's, uh, 0 0.75 liters. We have two liter bar, two two liter bottles bottles in Croatia. Yeah, this is a uh, Belgian special beer, and the biggest bottle that they have is 1.5 liters, and I've drank one in a single night. How am I getting yeah, nomads? Um, well, you need at least a town hall. You may need something else, but I don't know what exactly. I do have a market. So hunter, herbalist. The struggle with English words such as bottle. Bottle. What a bottle. I actually pronounce it with a D, but it's mostly silent, mm -hmm. like swallowed. As it should be. Ball. As it should be in improper English, like guys yeah. like us. I'm gonna go to the toilets. This twister really stirred up my bladder. Thank you. 
Like, back. like I said, you need at least a town hall. And you can only get one town hall. So that's why I placed it here. I used to pronounce uh, ball in a American way. Like bottle. Bottle. With a D, but I... Seems to have forgotten how to pronounce it correctly. <laughs> bottle. 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 <sighs> Transitioning from a language that has words like Krimnavina to words like however a lot of people actually can pronounce however but I can however yeah easy a lot of people can't pronounce it correctly So apparently we have a Pokemon in spring year 7, uh, 37 become a laborer, Tangalia. <laughs> I know it's supposed to be Tangala, but it's so close to the Pokemon that I just have to make fun of it. Water ball. Water ball. Water ball, a water ball, a water ball. Or as Kaisa eventually would say it, cylindrical liquid container. Yeah. A water bottle. Water bottle. Mm -hmm. So we actually are managing to bring the, the man of tools down a notch. Because we were over 100 just a moment ago. And now we are below 80. I'll knock on wood. Because we're definitely going to be over 80 relatively soon. Or not. It started from proper British English into transitioning slowly to American English. American. Oh, speaking of American English. You know which movie I saw yesterday? No. Team America! World Police. America! Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah. Coming to say the motherfucking day, yeah, day America! Yeah. Fuck yeah! America! <laughs> well, my American accent comes mostly from singing uh, Ted Nugent songs. Mm. They give cat scratch fever. Like the R. Fever. Southern accent. Also, they give I cat scratch fever. Also, a movie that I saw yesterday was Turok, Son of Stone. And as a Turok game fan, I really enjoyed the movie. I I I would recommend it. Turok. Yeah, Turok, Son of Stone. I'll type it in the uh, chat. Sounds familiar, but 
maybe I did one.